What are the different types of phobias? Germophobia, also sometimes spelled germophobia, is the fear of germs. In this case, germs refers broadly to any microorganism that causes disease. For instance, bacteria, viruses, or parasites. Arachnophobia refers to the intense fear of spiders, or spiderphobia. While it's not uncommon for people to dislike arachnids or insects, phobias of spiders can have a far more significant impact on your life. A phobia itself is more than just fear. Ophidiophobia is a kind of phobia where you have an extreme fear of snakes. It is perfectly normal for adults and children to have fears, but having a simple fear of snakes is different from having a phobia. Fear of snakes is very common. Half the people in the world feel anxious about snakes. Only 2% to 3% of those who are afraid of snakes may be having ophidiophobia, where the fear is so extreme it starts to interfere with their life or sense of well-being. Ophidiophobia is treated as an anxiety disorder. Acrophobia is defined as a fear of heights. Unlike a specific phobia such as aerophobia, which is the fear of flying, acrophobia can cause you to fear a variety of things related to being far from the ground. Depending on the phobia's severity, you may fear being on a high floor of a building as much as simply climbing a ladder. Astrophobia, also known as brontophobia, is a kind of phobia characterized by an intense fear of extremely loud but natural noises in the environment. Namely, lightning and thunder. You have already seen astrophobia in action if you've seen a dog go running at the sound of thunder or a child quickly cover their ears in a sudden storm. Well, the condition can persist well into adulthood. What is claustrophobia? Claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder that causes an intense fear of enclosed spaces. If you get very nervous or upset when you're in a tight place, like an elevator or crowded room, you might have claustrophobia. Some people have claustrophobia symptoms when they're in all types of closed-up areas. Others notice the problem only when they're in certain cramped spaces, like inside an MRI machine. What is aerophobia? Aerophobia is used for people who are afraid to fly. For some, even thinking about flying is a stressful situation and flying phobia, coupled with panic attacks, can lead to dangerous situations. Psychiatrists can help with flight-related fears and people who are afraid of flying can overcome those fears on their own over time. What is cholrophobia? Cholrophobia is a fear of clowns. It is a type of specific phobia, which involves a fear of a specific situation or object. It is important to note that while many people experience discomfort with clowns, those feelings don't necessarily represent a true phobia. Trypophobia or the fear of holes. Trypophobia is an aversion or fear of clusters of small holes, bumps, or patterns. When people see this type of cluster, they experience symptoms of disgust or fear. Examples of objects that might trigger a fear response include seed pods or a close-up image of someone's pores. Thalassophobia is an intense fear of deep bodies of water. People with thalassophobia experience sudden onset of anxiety when exposed to triggering stimuli, which can include deep pools, the ocean, or lakes. 